Thursday afternoon, everybody. Time for the shop update here at Woodsmith. Got just a couple of projects to talk about. First is one that Mark is working on that's uh, just about wrapped up here. <laughs> hey, everyone. Um, so, on to the next, as I alluded last week in Facebook. Uh, so, this was a, this is a John Doyle special, which is a kids' play table. There is the the plan for it. Now this consists of pretty much 100% Baltic birch. Um, I've got wrapped up with the table part. Obviously this goes up here. Um, so we've got, a, we've got a shelving unit on, on the end, adjustable shelf, a um, little storage area up here for knickknacks. And then obviously you've got the table itself to, for Legos or Pencil pencils for, for whatever. And then on the end of here, this is going to be the, um, the blackboard. Um, so I'm not sure if it's going to be on both sides. But anyway, so this, this comes out. So this gives you the option to take this whole thing out and then turn it around or do whatever you want to do with it. Um, and then this area over here, you can get zoom in. Got some little dished out areas for pens and pencils. Um, I think this is just going to get a coat of lacquer and then I'm pretty much done. And then I'm on to the stools, which are pretty straightforward. All again in Baltic birch. So, relatively straightforward project, nothing real fancy about it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think there's much else to report on this, but it'll be done by next week. So check back in. Cool. It's a bold claim. <laughs> As always. <laughs> always I'm to shoot myself in the foot. <laughs> All right, hello everybody. So I have finally wrapped up the Scottish style level. Um, I don't really recall where we're at progress-wise with this, but I'll go over again some of the, the details that we may have uh, spoken about already. Um, so the wear plates on the bottom, I've got eighth inch brass, and then on the face plate on the top, it's the same. Uh, you'll notice there's these little kind of cutouts or motifs here that are mirrored. Um, it has kind of a bow tie pattern. Um, a lot of the things that I do end up kind of following the form of the rest of the pieces, and it kind of helps me make decisions about um, stylistic details. And in this case, um, a lot of the Scottish style levels um, they have rounded ends like this. And so I started to kind of carry that throughout the rest of the piece. So you'll kind of notice on the inlay piece here, which is just a piece of burled walnut, um, you kind of have this semicircle. The viewing window has a semicircle. But then on top here, you have these really subtle curves, which I uh, carried into this kind of, again, bow tie motif, but still had the round or full circles for the. Uh, the center cutouts there. So again, the, those sorts of decisions was driving a lot of the rest of it and one, and it also just kind of keeps everything uniform and ties everything together really well. Um, so the last several days, I've just been kind of fine tuning things, doing a lot of sanding. Um, I was kind of going back and forth, which I usually do with brass or metal components. Um, we do have the advantage of having a tumbler here, which does a really good job of knocking the edges back. Um, of course, that's something you could do with a file or even some uh, just traditional sandpaper. Um, but I do it more for a, a, an aesthetic or a look and it never fails. I always end up going back to basically just doing like a brushed look. I think it just, um, one, I can get it to look a little more uniform and I think it has a little more of a, a, a handmade uh, touch to it. Plus the, those details really show up well in photography. Um, and also uh, another thing with smaller, hand tools especially, or just smaller projects, you always tend to kind of obsess over the, the the nuances and the small parts just because the framing is a lot tighter on these things. So I think I got hung up on just, again, making sure everything was sanded as perfectly as I could get it. Um, but since I'm wrapping up one hand tool, which it seems like I just did the two little uh, pocket planes, I'm moving into another uh, tool project, which will be for shop notes. I'm doing a set of French curves. Um, if you remember, Chris Fitch did a coping saw where he laminated uh, aluminum, I think it was 7075 aluminum, with some shop made veneer to kind of build up his form 
the metal helped create a more rigid structure, but it also had a very nice visual element too. So I think I'm gonna do something very similar, but instead of doing a shop made veneer, I'm gonna do, we have a lot of smaller pieces of veneer here that are left over from older projects. And so I'm trying to find a way to incorporate into this in the next project. And since they are French curves, they're gonna come in a box that have French fit in them. So I'll have a flocked interior and the three French curves of different shapes will all have their own individual kind of storage or recesses in there. And then uh, another thing I want to do with that too is put a French cleat on the back and so that it can act as a display piece in the shop. Plus it kind of helps organize things. Um, we know that real estate is always at a value in a shop and so um, if we can display these tools in a way that um, are seem like pieces of art but are also functional, it just again another but a better way to highlight uh, some of these pieces we work on. So. Um, that's what's going on in the immediate future. I've got a couple other projects I'm going to be doing for Woodsmith 274, um, but we'll, we can talk a little bit more about those next week when we're a little bit further along. So that's all I have for this week. Check in next week. All right, there you go. If you have any questions, comments, or smart remarks, you can put those in the comments section below. And uh, just a reminder, coming up, uh, even though it's still early March, as summer travel season is just around the corner. If you're going to be anywhere near the Des Moines, Iowa area, we invite you to come by and stop in for your own tour and shop update. Uh, just send us an email or let us know when we can expect you. Bye.